Welcome back to DIY My Way. One bit of tractor maintenance that is easy to overlook is your tractor's quick attach system for your loader. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I keep my quick attach system in top operating condition. And I'll give you a hint about another quick attach project that I'm working on. If you've had your quick attach loader for a while, you are probably already familiar with greasing the locking pins. I always wipe dirt and excess grease off the Zerks before attaching my grease gun. Then I give each one several squirts until I see grease oozing out of the top and bottom of the locking pin sleeve. My Kubota manual says to do this weekly, but I confess I don't since I'm not constantly changing between my bucket and pallet forks. Instead, I grease them when I grease the rest of the loader zerks, which is after every 10 hours of loader use. This side has always been easy to lock and unlock, but this side not so much, took more effort. So I was wondering if there are other things that could be adjusted or lubricated on these to make a difference. Turns out, there is. There are three other places that don't appear to be lubricated from the factory on my quick attach. They are the handle pivot, the locking pin spring pivot, and the locking pin pivot. To lubricate them well, some disassembly is needed. Once or twice a year should be often enough. Before disassembly, make sure the locking pin spring is adjusted so that it is not pressing the handle elbow against the ear plate when in the release position. The handle elbow should be touching the ear plate but not pressing hard against it. If it is pressing against it, tighten the locking pin spring adjustment nut until it is not. This will make disassembly and reassembly much easier. I start by removing the locking pin spring pivot bolt with a 17mm socket. The bolt has a lock washer and fender washer. Next I remove the jam nut and handle spring adjustment nut using a wrench to hold the adjustment nut still while removing the jam nut. By the way, if the handle pivot spring is too tight, it will make operating the handle more difficult than it has to be. I'll show you how to adjust it properly when I put it back together. I apply some oil to the locking pin pivot. If you have a grease needle, you could probably inject some grease into it. Then I apply some grease to the handle pivot. And around both sides of the pivot hole on the handle. Then the locking pin spring pivot hole. And finally the locking pin spring pivot. Time to put it back together. First the locking pin spring pivot bolt goes on. Tighten it until the lock washer is flattened. It's designed so that you can't squeeze the pivot joint too tightly. Now the handle spring, fender washer, and adjustment nut go on. Tighten so that you leave some space between the spring coils. If the spring is compressed all the way, the handle may be unnecessarily difficult to operate. Test the handle operation and adjust the nut as needed, but don't leave it too loose either. 
Once you have it dialed in, put the jam nut on. Use a wrench to hold the adjustment nut in place while you tighten the jam nut. There, smooth and easy. Repeat these steps for the other handle and you'll be good to go. By the way, your loader attachment is safely locked in when the locking pin is fully engaged in the attachment pin slot and the handle is flush against the ear plate. Oh, and I promised you a hint on the other project I had regarding my quick attach. Well, here it is. Stay tuned for more on that. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please click that like button, leave a comment, and by all means, please subscribe. If you want to know when I post new videos, click that little bell. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.